Welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with chapter 7, Gravitation. So this is a new subtopic, 7.2, Gravitational Potential Energy U. Gravitational Potential Energy is defined as the work done by the external force in bringing the test mass from infinity to the point. So we can write the equations, the work done equals to negative G M M times 1 over r final minus 1 over r initial so since we bring the the mass the test mass from infinity to a point 1 over infinity here is actually equals to 0 okay so therefore our work done is equal to the potential energy and the equation is equal to negative g m m over over r Okay. And since this is the energy, meaning that the unit that we use is Joule and it is a scalar quantities. Okay, it is a scalar quantities, meaning that we don't need to consider the direction. Determine the gravitational potential energy of the Earth due to the Moon only. Okay, so we want to find the gravitational uh, potential energy of the Earth due to the Moon. So our equation is U equals to negative GMM over R Where G is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 And the Earth, mass of the Earth is 5 point here 5.98 times 10 to the power of 24 kg And because of the Moon, so M2 is the Moon, mass of the Moon is uh, given here 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22 kg and the distance between the moon and the earth so we need to find the distance uh, the radius of the moon orbits the earth is 3.84 times 10 to the power of 5 kilometer so we must change it become meter Okay, so if we press calculator, we will get negative 7.63 times 10 to the power of 28 Joule. Okay, so for this type of questions, we just substitute all the value because uh, we don't need to consider the direction. Eh? This is a scalar quantity. Okay, next we want to find the potential energy of the Earth due to the Sun. Okay, so now we want to refer to the Sun. So again, U to the Sun is also equal to negative GMM over R where g is 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 mass is the uh, m1 is the earth so earth is 5.98 times 10 to the power of 24 and the second mass is the sun okay mass of the sun is 2 uh, 2 times 10 to the power of 30 kg okay distance between the the earth and the sun is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meter Okay, so finally, we will get negative 5.32 times 10 to the power of 33 Joule. Okay, so this is question number 1. Okay, next we go to question number 2. Okay, question number 2 is determine the gravitational potential energy to move a body of 100 kg to the surface, uh, surface of the Earth. Okay, so the potential energy U is equal to negative GMM over R. So negative G is 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11. The first M is the Earth. Eh? So Earth, mass of the Earth is 6 times 10 to the power of 24. And is moving the body 100 kilogram. So we substitute 100. And the radius, because the question say is uh, on the surface, uh, on the surface, so on um, the surface here meaning that uh, we are taking the radius uh, because it's on the surface, so we will take the radius 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6 meter. Finally, we will get negative 6.25 times 10 to the power of 9 joule. Okay, second question is find the gravitational potential energy to move a body 100 kg to the 
altitude of 400 km above the earth so this is the earth so we will move from the surface 400 km okay so this is actually h uh, the altitude and remember r that we will take actually is from the center okay so our r is from here until the altitude r equals to the radius of the earth plus the altitude h okay so we substitute into the value u equals to negative g m m over r so negative 6.67 similar we just substitute the value and the mass is still the earth and also the body 100 kg but the radius now is equal to r the radius of the earth plus the altitude okay so the radius of the earth is 6.4 here 6.4 okay plus the altitude uh, altitude is 400 kilometer above the surface so it's 400 kilo okay so if you press calculator we will get negative 5.89 times 10 to the power of 9 joule Okay, so next we proceed to questions number 3 If a satellite of mass 800 kg fall from the height of 400 km to the surface of the earth what is the loss in the gravitational potential energy okay so meaning that initially the satellite is 400 above the surface uh, the altitude okay so this is the first work done at the initial so if we fall down to the surface here okay this is the final uh, potential energy so we want to find what is the uh, difference uh, difference meaning that loss in the gravitational potential energy okay so what should we do is we must find the changes uh, changes u final minus the u initial so our u final okay is already reached the uh, surface of the earth so it's equal to g m m over r r here is surface uh, 6.38 times 10 to the power of 6 minus g m m over the initial so initial is uh, 6.38 times 10 to the power of 6 plus the altitude because initial is at altitude uh, okay so we will take r plus h h is uh, 400 so it's 400 kilo okay i convert kilo into power of 3 yeah? okay so actually we can factorize uh, out gm so 6 uh, negative uh? okay negative minus negative so it's negative i take out the negative g 6.67 times 10 to the power of 10 to the power of negative 11 800 and another 5.98 times 10 to the power of 24 Okay, so I factorize out radius 6.38 times 10 to the power of 6 minus uh, the med, the radius okay, from the altitude is equal to 1 over 6.78 times 10 to the power of 6. Uh. Okay, so if you press calculator, finally we will get negative 2.95 times 10 to the power of 9 joule okay last questions we will go to questions number four a moon has a mass of 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22 kg and the radius is 1740 kilometer first one determine the gravitational field at its surface okay so gravitational field strength is equals to a g equals to g m over r squared G is 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11. M is the mass of the moon. So it's 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22 kg. And the radius is given 1740 kilometer. So we will convert into meter. And remember to square. Okay, remember to square. So if you press calculator, we will get 1.62 meter 
per second squared. Okay, next we go to 4B. Uh, a prime of the mass 100 kg is dropped from the height. Okay, so similar like questions number 3. Initially, U initial is above the surface 1 km. And after that, it dropped to the surface. So this is a U final. So our change of the potential energy is U final minus U initial. Okay, so we can write as GMM over final is the radius. Huh? Negative, huh? remember to put negative. Minus negative GMM over the initial. Initial is R plus the altitude. So it's R plus the altitude H. So we can uh, factorize out negative GMM. 1 over R minus 1 over R plus H. Negative 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11. And the mass is equal to 100. And the mass of the moon is 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22. Okay, times 1 over radius. So the radius is 1. 0.74 times 10 to the power of 6 okay this one I already convert minus 1.74 times 10 to the power of 6 plus 1 kilometer we will get negative 1.62 times 10 to the power of negative 5 jo. next one C if all the gravitational potential energy loss okay just now this one the this one is the energy loss is converted to kinetic energy. Calculate the speed at which the prom hits the surface. So just now the change of the kinetic energy, the energy loss, already all convert into kinetic energy. 1.62 times 10 to the power of negative 5 all convert into half and V squared. V is equal to 2 times 1.62 power of negative 5 over Mass, uh, mass is the the prom 100 kg and then remember to square root uh, because we square the speed okay the speed at which the prom hits the surface is equal to 56.92 meter per second okay so that's all for this subtopic we will continue with the next video and uh, with the new subtopic okay which is the motion of the satellite